Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create scrolling credits in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, I've done this tutorial in the past, but the reason that I had to do it in the past was because of the new text feature with 2017. Well, with 2018, they re-added the roll button, which is going to make this workflow a whole lot easier, and so that's what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial, is this new roll button that is uh, new as of CC 2018, which was updated just a few days ago, somewhere around October 23rd. So make sure you're updated to the most recent version, and I'm going to be showing you how to create these scrolling credits just like so. Really, really simple to do now, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is just start with a blank slate, or you could have footage before this or anything. It really works any way that you'd like. All you need to do is create a text box. So what we need to do is we need to go up here to the type tool, which is right here on the left, or if you're in the editing workflow, it might be down here. Um, I'm going to be in the graphics workflow because this is a graphics, uh, quote unquote, graphics sort of addition. So what I want to do is I want to go anywhere in here, I want to click once to create a dynamic text box. I don't want to click and drag, and I'll show you that why in a second, but let's just go ahead and click once to create this text box. Now, I'm going to go, I just have a random list uh, name generator right here. I just grabbed a whole bunch of names here, and I'm just going to control A, control C, V, control C, and then control V right into here. And all I was doing there was I just copied all the names over here and put them in here so that we have some names to work with. So what you can see is happening right here is since it was dynamic, it created um, a box that fit all of these names. For example, let's say if I tried to draw out a box and then click Control V, you'll see that it tries to fit everything in this box. And if I want to make the, you know, the list longer or shorter, I have to adjust the size of the box. We don't want that. So we want to just click one time with our text tool, and that'll create this, which is a dynamic box. And whatever we type, it's going to fit our text into that box. And that is going to be very helpful for us because we don't want to have to, like I said, keep readjusting it. Once we have our box created, let's go ahead and double click on it so that we have everything highlighted. If only like one part highlights or anything, you can just hit Control A or Command A on a Mac to select all. And then we're going to go over here into the Essential Graphics panel, go over to the Edit button and make sure that we have our text selected. Then go down here into the text and we want to go ahead and change this to center text like so. And you can also change the font right here, you can see it's changing all around. And you can also see that since it's a di dynamic text box, everything is changing with that as well. The, the text box size is changing with our change of the font to fit better. So once we have this all centered nicely, we just need to click on the box so that the entire box is highlighted. Then we're going to go over here to this horizontal center and click on that button. And it's going to center it right down the screen for us. And this will allow us to not have to you know, try to figure it out. This will be a perfect center every time. The button is right here. Once we have this going, we can now add our roll effect onto it. So what you need to do is you need to unselect anything up here, which is just click in a gray area. If we select on here, we get all of the text properties. What we want is we want to select the entire box as a whole, because we could put multiple text documents or graphics in here at the same time, but we don't want to have any of those selected. We want to affect the entire graphics as a whole. So once we unselect from here, we have the ability to go down here and click our new button, the roll button. Once we click the roll button, that is all we have to do. You'll see that there's this scroll bar over here, and this shows us the scroll of all of our text on the right. And what's neat about this is we don't have to adjust the speed because all we need to do is adjust the duration and the speed comes with it. So for example, let me play this back. And you can see that's really, really, really fast. We don't want it this fast. So if we just drag the duration out, it's going to slow down and it's going to adjust to that duration. So our speed is a direct sort of derivative of how long our um, how long our credits are. So let's reduce the speed just a little bit more by making them a little bit longer. And that seems like a pretty good speed for our new uh, scrolling credits. And like I said, it's so much easier. All you got to do is hit the roll button now. And you can see that we get this beautiful roll, 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 a little bit of a hard word there, once you say it a bunch. So we have a couple other options right here, is we can turn off the start off screen button, that's going to make it start just straight up on the screen here, like so. If we turn that on, it starts right beneath the screen and comes up. And we can also have it end off screen. So you see at the very end here, they all go off. These are both typical for credits. So that's why they start off checked. However, if you don't want it to be like that, we could just have it uncheck either one of these buttons and it'll make those necessary adjustments for us. You can also change the intro and 
exit durations, making them faster and, or you know, sort of slower um, with the ease in and ease out. And then you could create a longer pre-roll or a longer post-roll to give it some more space on either side. But overall, this is how you create the scrolling credits in Premiere Pro with the new update. A whole lot less convoluted than the last one. I'm very happy that they re-added just this roll button in. Apparently, they listened to a lot of people who are angry that you'd remove such an important feature. But that is how you do that in the new update. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and dump them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related content. And until next time, guys, see ya.